What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Flight Club with YB and Namir. You know what's happening? Shoes is the main thing. If your outfit don't look smooth, you still gotta have some good shoes. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's go. Grew up in Birmingham, Alabama. Right. You said you always stood out. Hell yeah. Even with clothes? Hell no, nah, not with clothes for real. I ain't even gonna cap. I wasn't always that fly ass nigga. I mean, I had shoes, but feel me, I ain't really know how to dress back then, but it is what it is. I was still fly at the end of the day though. I wasn't no ugly, bummy ass nigga. I hear you. We couldn't shoot when this Wednesday because you're going back to graduation. Right. Do you ever miss the chance now that you could dress and have access to all these shoes and clothes to man, going back what? for a week, maybe? Yeah, man, I think about that every time I buy something, man. I just be like, damn. What if I was in school, right? Right. Now? How, how would they look at me? Yeah. I don't know. You wear a lot of Air Max 95s. Are you a big Air Max guy? I mean, at first I wasn't, but now I'm starting to get into Air Maxes, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, these, these crank right here. I seen these, somebody told me don't get them, but I'm finna get these. At most 95, care. definitely. Yeah, but I don't really pay attention to Air Max like that for real. Like I, like I just started getting into them. You were picked to be in a Jordan lookbook. Right. How did that come about? I don't know, like my manager just hit me up and told me about that shit. Like, and I was like, damn, Jordan want me to do this? I'm blessed for that. Like, everybody gotta stand in line for Jordans and all that. Like, they chose me to be in the front cover of that shit. I really didn't expect for nothing like that to happen. Okay, I was like, everything else was cool, but for Jordan, yeah. I was like, damn. That's you know, big. That's crazy. I think you were wearing these 13s, and then you did an Instagram pic of you mixing and matching 13s. Oh, what 13s? Uh, was, I had the all white. The, and had, the wheats. Yeah, I had those and the all white ones. All white 13s, yeah. I forgot how they look. Do you now more than ever want to stand out with your clothing? I mean, now I'm just smooth. Like, I'm a cool nigga. I don't really got to flex too much, but. I don't know, I do some cool shit sometimes. Yeah. Even though you get hooked up with Jordans now, when you were young, you were getting hooked up. How? I always had Jordans. Like, my auntie, she had a store in uh, New Haven, Connecticut called Jimmy Army and Navy. Like, she always had Jordans there. And so, like, she'll send them to Alabama for free. Like, I'll always be, like, the first ones with Jordans for, like, a week. So she was the plug? Yeah, she was the plug, for sure. Everybody, like, used to try to hit her up in Alabama, so. And what is it like for her to see you in a Jordan lookbook now? Man, it's crazy. She like, you know I'm still finna give you some free shoes. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> I'm like, be for real, auntie. It's the other way around. I noticed in the rubbing off the paint video, there's some moments where they zoom in on the shoes. Is it important to lace the whole crew now or what? I mean, back then it was just everybody was just wearing their own shit, but now it's like everybody go crazy with their shoes. Like, shoes is the main thing. If your outfit don't look smooth, you still gotta have some good shoes. You have a big group. Is there any competition with sneakers within the group? You and Jay or anything like that? Man, Jay be capping, man. He be buying these big ass shoes and all these black ass shoes, man. These shoes, that's too big for him, bro. They don't look great. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about, too. I'm not finna say So he'll that. double sock it even if they man, don't fit? No, they fit him. They his size, but them bitches is too fucking big. <laughs> that's what the fuck they is. Them bitches some bricks. Jay wears the big shoes, the Balenciaga. Yes, the bruh, them hoes is ugly, bruh. No, what are you doing? Like, you that small and skinny wearing them big ass boats. So you roast him sometimes? Hell yeah, we be on his ass. Like, nigga, you look dumb as fuck with them hoes, man. <laughs> and you wear high fashion sneakers, you wear a lot of Gucci. Yeah, I wear everything that I look good in, bruh. But I'm not finna wear no big ass boats or no fucking big ass burritos, whatever the fuck them hoes is. Them hoes is bricks, you drop them hoes on your foot, it's Oh, feet. <laughs> Them hoes as big as a fucking turkey. What do you think about the sneaker game in terms of like rappers getting endorsement deals and Kanye shoes going for thousands of dollars? Were you ever into those types of sneakers? Nah, I ain't gonna cap. I was never that type of nigga. They hard, but I wouldn't wear them bitches. Like, they just don't fit me. Like, they don't look good on me type shit. You're a big gamer. Do you see any similarities between gaming and sneaker culture where it's like these niche type of groups of people who are really into shoes and shit? Yeah. Yeah, now it is because the niggas be on 2K all the time. And like, niggas be doing all the hype shit and talking about sneaker con and stacking all their shoes up and shit. Yeah. Because of 2K and shit now. But before that, I ain't really pay attention to that all that. Like other people stacking up their shoes. And 2K, you could switch player sneakers. That's why. Yeah, all that shit. Like, bruh, they just do that shit because of 2K now. Like, niggas be second because 2K now. 
Do you remember your first good pair of sneakers? First good pair of sneakers? No, I do not remember. I always had good shoes. But the first time I stood in line for some shoes was the last time I stood in line for some shoes. Do you remember what they were? Yes, they were some Easter, you know, the little Easter Spizikes that had came out. They okay. was like gray and green and shit. Matter of fact, that's how I met my nigga Glizzy, because we had the same shoes. And how long did you wait in line? Shit, since like five o'clock in the morning to like 10. And never again. Never again. Hell no. Nah. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> I just, went, I wasn't even planning on buying the shoes. I was just going with my cousin Alonzo just to see what it, like the hype and shit was about. So you feel me, niggas was out there, bruh. I was like, what the fuck? Hey, take me home, nigga. <laughs> I do not got time for this shit. And sometimes they're like, oh, it'll be fun. We'll have like McDonald's. It's never Hell, fun, yeah, right? Niggas was out there intense, like it's crazy over these weak ass Easter shoes. Like I ain't even had to buy these. Uh. <laughs> A lot of people say that like Easy E inspired you. Did you like his style and and Hell yeah. Nigga Easy E cold as fuck. <laughs> I've been listening to that nigga Easy E since I was like six or seven. Wow. Hell yeah. Like my whole family been on that nigga, so. Raiders and all like all that kings, shit. Yeah. All that shit. Like my cousin used to get Jerry Curls, all that shit, try to be like this nigga. Or whatever the fuck he had. You know yeah. the little curly shit. I don't know if it's Jerry Curl, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, hell yeah. Niggas used to try to be like that nigga and all that. All right, well, we talked about everything. Now is the easy part. Get the browser shelves, see what you're gonna take home. For sure. Let's do it. Look at these hoes right here, though. Mm-hmm. And a seven. A seven. You got it. Not those two, though. Okay, these ones. You got them 12s at the top. Let's see. Right. Yeah, we got seven. Then let's go. These hoes hard too. They, this nigga Jay, bro, he told me not to get these bitches, but I'm finna get them. I don't care what he's talking about. I don't care. What's up, bro, bro? What's happening, bro? All right, we got five pair. Uh, the total on those is 2,513, three cent. You Damn. go ahead and slide it in. Bro. All right, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, here you go, Jay. Good looks. Mm, bitch. All right, bro, appreciate you. All right, for sure. All right. So, YBN and Namir came through, got a bunch of sneakers. Sure. Make sure everyone checks out the new mixtape coming soon. And all that. <laughs>